Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Learning. Um, today I'm going to take a look at this node set up by Cool Deep Sings, uh, 3D Sings VFX, which basically um, allows you to do uh, this really cool effects. It's kind of like a unfolding of splines. So I really like splines. Spline is like uh, in terms of outline, uh, something that you can create using curves. Um, so yeah, with his setup, uh, you just need animation nodes and it's got everything basically and you just need to provide curves and you can create this uh, really neat effect that uh, you can download the blend from um, from the link he provided on his YouTube channel. But I'll just gonna jump straight into it and let's see what we can create. So I will be using Blender 2.8 and if you download it, uh, the blend files, it comes in a zip files. And so if you open it up, let's go under download. Um, this unfolds lines. And this is version three, the new versions, which should work better. But I want to show you uh, version number two first. Um, so this is, this is uh, one of the result. You can see uh, AN, uh, it's based from text and converted into spline, and you can have this result. And also, if you, this one comes with a very neat shader. Uh, see, see the glowing and stuff, and it's real time. And then, if you run it, it's, it's almost like um, it's generating like a metal kind of thing. And yeah, so if you look at the node three, this is the group node he was talking about. There's a lot of complexity here. I, I'm not gonna go dig into his setup, but basically I wanna show you a couple of things that you need to, you, you probably want to see, uh, you want to play around. So you can have like a circle or spiral with a spiral, you have a spiral that's kind of unfolding into the shape, and you have a circle. Circle is almost like if you are, you know, just like um, squeezing a tube and then you get, you create the shape. Um, I like the spiral, and you can control the spiral, um, the size of the spiral there, the sample amount, it's controlling, I think, the actual segmentations. Um, normally, you want it just a bit high. And there's also these options, uh, depending on the curve, etc. And also, up here, you have the durations. You can make it like 50, for example. And now it's a little bit faster. To generate, um, if you have your own curve, um, that's also possible. And let me show you how you can create it. So let me go back. Um, overlay, Wait, show the overlay. So what's really important? Also, the there is this target target curve. Let me save this file, save as. This is spline uh, 001. There is this target. This is the one that's being generated by animation nodes. And there is also this hidden one. It's called text. Uh, and we can actually just delete this. And I will try to provide something simple like for example, the circle here. And I will use this Bezier circle as the source. So instead of text, I will use Bezier circle. And you can see the effects is, uh, is working as well. So that's, that part is pretty cool in itself. And you can have like also multiple Bezier circle, control J. And then this also will work. You can see 
All right, and you can also provide it with something like uh, if I create it using SketchUp, for example, just you know, like Quiz Pencil, and I'll try to make something really, really quickly. So this is Grease out. It's gonna make something like that, something random, and using SketchUp nodes. I will convert this into a curve. So GP grease pencil and just select the grease pencil and active layer and then the output is gonna be polyline and polyline of course is a curve and you can use the curve um, in the other blend file and this thing can be a spline or maybe normal. You just need to make a more simple down here. All right, so file, I save it. We have the curve and we can combine the curve instead of multiple curve, I want it to be a single curve and maybe I, I want it as a 2D curve. So that's, uh, that's fine. I'm gonna delete this Bezier circle, file, append, Go to desktop and find our file. Grease out object alpha. Just append it. So we have this thing from it's being generated using SpreadShop. Uh, apparently, I deleted the wrong thing. I deleted the target. So I just get rid of this, create a new one. Hopefully, it still work. So that's alpha.000. And if we run, okay, doesn't seem uh, doesn't seem to work. Maybe I need to turn this into a base here. Curve, I'll select all curve. Set spline to base here. Restart. Oh, okay. We try, okay. Now it should work. Yep, it should work. So this is the thing, uh, it comes from spread drop. Now I need to just kind of hide it. That's the base curve. And then we have our folding and unfolding happening. I think this is pretty cool and it's all automated and would be cool also if uh, we can kind of um, if we can can kind of turn this curve into joints or bones and then by having bones we can then animate an actual surface kind of unfolding um, that's something that I will try to do but let's get back to this setup delete everything and then let's write blend so for you go to the top view and I will just write blend something wrong with my blender oh, I'm actually I'm not using mouse this is just my finger writing okay so we have blend here again Let's jump back to Blender 2.8, delete our alpha file, append alpha, that's a new object. And if we refresh, still looking at the old one. Okay, actually, this guy, go to edit mode. I don't know why, but I need to turn this curve into Bezier and then hopefully this works oh, okay still looking at the old one so alpha.001 so now it's working just delete our our curve and we have this thing unfolding uh, this actually can work 
a little bit faster if you want to. I, I can make this a little bit thicker. Um, would it be nice to have some kind of control over each and every uh, unfolding? So kind of delay one of them maybe. But for now, I think this is, seems to be working fine. I can increase the duration. 130, 140. And up here we have the options for the curve. Oh, there's also this exponential sample amount. Okay, this, if I make this smaller, 50, we're gonna have more segmentation, I guess. Actually, less segmentation. Oh, see? The shape is much simpler now. So that's five segments. We want it maybe 100. Or in this case, 150, right? We have 150 frames. And yeah, so we have this happening for us. So that's cool. File, save as. And also, if you got the zip, there is a new version. With the new version, you have control over the this uh, the animation. So if you want to animate this, just maybe use frame number, and then use a remapping. So frame goes in, input, uh, output maybe hundred frames. So this goes into there. So now it's gonna unfold for 100 frames. This setup supposedly better. Uh, I have not compared it much, but this is so that's the original. I'm gonna append our alpha and this guy. We're just gonna use it. And see if this is working. Okay, it doesn't work. Go inside, select all curve. Bezier again. Refresh. Yeah, somehow this one doesn't work. So we have the alpha, and we select the alpha, and then do we need to? Okay, we try. Okay, now it should be working. Yeah, so uh, you need to kind of know how to troubleshoot uh, the nodes. That seems to be hiding. I mean, with this setup, it's a uh, kind of closing the curve somehow. There must be an option to close or um, to make the curve not to loop over. Um, okay, this one, cyclic and non-cyclic. Okay, that's an option. Bevel depth, all right. Yep, that seems to be working now. The radius. Sample amount, 550, factor interpolations. So this one slightly different from the other setup, but supposedly better. So maybe use this one. Sample amount, 500. Try. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? Um, so yeah, thanks again for, thanks Cooldeep. Thanks for this sharing this setup. I haven't really studied this, I didn't break it down, but the setup is pretty clean. Um, if you want to dig inside, I think it has a lot of things uh, kind of hidden. But it's a good study um, of this kind of this kind of particular uh, particular setup. I think this is pretty interesting, um, and definitely, you know, there are a lot of people there's so much better with nodes uh, and I, I really like what he's doing he got a lot of interesting things happening I haven't got time to check them all but uh,
this one in particular is really really cool and keep eyes on his YouTube channel definitely and yep hopefully you'll find this useful let me know what you think and I'll see you next time thank you bye